What's up fam? Look, if you're looking to get the latest merch of Cooking with Kirby, go to my website, cookingwithkirby.com. I got a full lineup of merch. Look, we got shirts, we got aprons. The shirts are for the eaters. The apron is for the cookers. Look, if you a chef in the kitchen and you putting it down, get your fat pants on. That's a bold statement right there. So go to cookingwithkirby.com to get your latest merch. Look at that, y'all. Super cheesy. That's just the way I love Mexican cornbread. Welcome back, everybody. In today's episode of Cooking with Kirby, we're gonna be making some Mexican cornbread. Now, to start off, we're gonna be needing a cup of cornmeal and a cup of all-purpose flour. Then we're gonna need a half of a teaspoon of baking soda, a teaspoon and a half of baking powder, three tablespoons of sugar. This is sugar cane. I have a whole bunch of it when they bought up all the supplies for the store, so I said, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and use it. Kinda tastes similar to brown sugar, but you can use regular sugar. So three tablespoons of sugar, one teaspoon of salt. We're gonna need a half of a pound of cheese of your choice. This is Monterey Jack cheese. I love how this cools down once you melt it. So it's gonna make this cornbread nice and cheesy and it's gonna be nice and gooey. You're also gonna want four Anaheim peppers or any hatch pepper of your choice or any pepper really of your choice, just depending on the heat that you want. Anaheim peppers are usually not spicy. They're, they're really mild when it comes to heat. But if you get like some hatch peppers that are hot, this is, that's actually pretty good for this recipe. But this is at your preference if you want it spicy or not. And how I prep these, I actually just threw these in the oven, let them get you know really, really hot. And I put them in a bag and let them sweat. And I peeled the skin off and just chopped them up. You can remove the seeds. It does have a little bit of seeds in there, but uh, the seeds actually do make it spicy. So, you know, just keep that in mind. You're also gonna need six tablespoons of melted butter, unsalted butter. And then we're gonna take a half of an onion, chop it up, and we're gonna go ahead and saute that for a little bit. I went ahead and sauteed it in a, in a tablespoon of butter. And finally, all we're gonna need is a can of cream style corn along with a can of whole kernel corn. All right, so we're gonna take all of our dry ingredients and go ahead and put it in our bowl. Now, I may add a little bit of milk. Now, that really depends on how everything feels. I feel we have enough moisture coming, you know, coming from the cream style corn and the butter to kind of make this together. But uh, if I do need a little bit more moisture, I'm gonna be adding in a little bit of milk. Now, you just wanna go ahead and stir all this together because you want the salt and everything to incorporate with your flour and your cornmeal. And don't forget the eggs, please. We're gonna be needing two eggs for this recipe. Okay, now we're gonna just go ahead and add in our butter. Now, when you're processing your peppers, be really careful. I'm, my, my left hand's burning just a tad bit because uh, I peeled the skin off of the pepper. Uh, use some gloves. Anaheim peppers aren't usually so spicy, so the, but I'm getting a little tingle on this fing these fingers there. Go ahead and add in our onions. Now for the corn, the, the whole corn, we're not gonna be using the juice from that. We just want the kernels. So go ahead and drain out your corn. Go ahead and drain out the water from your corn, can of corn. Go ahead and add that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and add in our cream corn. So before we add in our cheese, we're gonna go ahead and just give everything a mix. All right, so after you mix everything well, now this is looking just a perfect for Mexican corn, so I'm not gonna be adding in any milk. So now we're just gonna be incorporating in our cheese. Now I am gonna be topping it with another cheese. Uh, it's, it's a mix, it has cheddar and all kinds of other stuff. So, uh, but if you just have cheddar, that is just, you know, that's fine. But uh, this one right here is Monterey Jack. I'm gonna, I'm gonna love the pull that it gives in there. It's gonna make a nice creamy cheese in this. All right, so that's incorporated. Let's go ahead and add a little bit more. I love cheese, y'all. So let's go ahead and add the final pieces of this cheese. All right, I call that good. Let's go ahead and get our baking pan. Today, just for purposes of the video, because I wanna be able to take this off and be able to see the cornbread, but uh, cast iron works really good for this. So let's get some butter so we can oil this up. Okay, in our greased pan, we're gonna go ahead and add in our cornbread mix. 
Now, like I said, you can use cast iron for this. Everything's looking good. Now, let's go ahead and preheat our oven to 400 degrees. Now, in our preheated oven at 400 degrees, you wanna go ahead and set a timer for 30 to 35 minutes. So go ahead and put your cornbread in there and let it do its thing. 35 minutes have passed. Let's go ahead and check on it. All right, and now if it's done, cornbread, it should come out clean as we got a clean toothpick. Now for the last five minutes, we're gonna go ahead and add some cheese to it. Got a nice golden brown top. Now we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of cheese. This is just that Mexican Fiesta blend that uh, you buy Kraft or, you know, the Great Value brand. All right, so we've got a good coating of our cheese on there. Go ahead and put it back in there. We're gonna just let this cook until it's melted. The cornbread's already cooked, so as soon as it's melted, we'll pull it out. All right, once you got your cheese all melted, we're gonna go ahead and pull this puppy out. Now, it's extremely hot. Be real careful, folks. But yeah, this, this is smelling and looking good. That's what it looks like. So that's just the top of it. So we're actually gonna let this cool down. You wanna let this rest for about 20 to 30 minutes. Look at that, y'all. Super cheesy. That's just the way I love Mexican cornbread. Now, I've been waiting for 30 minutes for this. So let's give us a taste. Cheers, y'all. Got a kick. Those Anaheim peppers actually do have a little kick to them. But on that part, put it to your preference. It's got a kick, but it's not super, super hot. It's actually pretty good. You get that sweet, you get the heat. It's just really gooey from all that cheese that we put in here. Some good stuff. If you're new to my channel, consider hitting the subscribe button. That way you see future videos just like this. As always, I'll leave a link in the video description and in the comment section. So that way you can go to my website, cookingwithkirby.com to get the full printable recipe. To go with this, I pair this up with chili con carne. Perfect pair right there because you're gonna get a nice, just dense, gooey cornbread along with some, some chili con carne. Chili beans, pretty much. It's some good stuff. Mm, 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 mm. Why are they almost half of the same? This is some really good stuff. I have these recipes, they're really good. Along with that chili con carne, you gotta try that one out. Now y'all be beautiful and take care.